If you're looking to jumpstart your MUT22 team, head over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code PROB for 10% off. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Madden 22 video. In this video, we're going to talk about abilities in Madden 22 and the best ability, in my opinion, in this game right now for what the meta is, how the game plays. Before we get into this, if you guys are not a subscriber of the channel, make sure you guys sub, turn your notifications on, and leave comments. I'm getting to as many as I can. If you enjoy the videos, make sure you like them. Trying to get every video to 500 likes. That's the goal. Again, if you enjoy this one, hit the like. All right, let's talk about abilities in Madden 22. This is my current roster on my main team, the God Squad, if you may. Uh, Justin Fields doesn't have an ability. As of right now, my, that's my quarterback. And again, we're gonna talk about multiple abilities in this video. And I'm gonna give you guys the number one ability that you guys should have in the game. All right, this happens to be number two, in my opinion, big backfield mismatch. Now there's a couple of backfield, um, backfield abilities that you can use. This one in particular, backfield mismatch, gives you better routes and catching from the backfield versus linebackers. And it only costs one AP. If you do, if you have a running back that doesn't have this in Madden 22, you're doing it wrong. All right, this needs to be on every running back that you are using. Um, outs and ins out of the backfield are so good. Backfield Master is is, a, is the other one that I was going to tell you guys about. This one's two AP and it costs twelve fifty as far as uh, training goes. But this gives you the four routes. It gives you the angle route that a lot of people like. The table route's not the the greatest, but it does get the job done and then you have little um ghost route and yeah so you can use those if you like um again i'm not the biggest fan of, of the angle route this is so fast i don't even think you need it so um backfield mismatch though is definitely a plus i enjoy that ability you need it on your team all right another good ability that i'm using is slot apprentice it's been a good ability for the last i don't know three years now since they've put it in the game you get the extra routes with your receivers. Devin Hester happens to be great already, but adding this to him just makes him that much greater. Slot Apprentice, only one AP for him. Um, and that changes based on your archetype. So him being a route runner, he gets the Slot Apprentice for one AP. So if you see this for two AP on somebody else or three AP, it's probably because of their archetype. All right, let's talk about some O-line abilities. Again, I'm gonna give you the very best ability in this video but these are just some of that some of them that i'm using that i think are important identifier 2 ap on bruce matthews i love to see where the user is pre-snap uh, oftentimes you can get some tails from your opponents uh, that you're playing they, they do certain things when they run a certain coverage you combine identifier with previous play and you can really start to put together the puzzle right so if you notice your opponents do uh, clicking on his safety and clicking on his cornerback on the right every time that he's in cover two and then when he's in cover three he doesn't do that pre-snap or when he's in cover four he doesn't do that pre-snap you can kind of put together okay if he's not doing this you know which plays you want to call to attack those other coverages so identifier gives you uh, some good information pre-snap i like using it um and it's something that i i prefer to have rather than not have and right now when there's not the most abilities in the game available to us. This is uh, something that I, I choose to use early on. Another ability is post up for my old lineman. It gives you dominant double team blocks. And I've noticed it light up quite a bit on my old line when I run the ball, if I run inside zone, buck sweep. My three interior linemen, both guards in my center, they all have it. At one point, all five of my linemen had it, but um, I've noticed it light up a lot, so I'm using it right now. If you guys want to check it out, try it for yourself. Feel free. Let me know what you guys think. But post up is something that I'm using, and I've seen it uh, take off when I've I've seen it light up when I ran the ball, and uh, a lot of the runs, I feel like they're benefiting because of it. So I don't know. It could be wrong. Again, it's hard to tell. You don't have like data to specifically show when it lights up. It's way better blocking or anything. All I know is when it lights up, it seems to be better. All right, let's get to the defensive side of the ball. So this, yes, is where the best ability in the game is going to be on the defensive side of the ball. But we are going to start with unpredictable. So unpredictable plays like inside stuff. Um, it lights up and you get sheds when 
your opponent runs the ball for some reason like i've noticed it be more aggressive against runs than inside stuff almost so i started using it. i seen someone use it online and i was like dude why is his d lineman all lighting up and shedding immediately when i'm running at him and it was it was this ability so i started throwing it on my guys i put it on both of my d tackles and it only cost one ap inside stuff costs two ap and this gets the job done as far as that because you want to um put it on both of your d tackles like for me i was running big nickel so i put it on both d tackles even if i'm running three three five wide i'll put it on a d tackle in an end all right but inside stuff you can see it here two ap um, quicker sheds and inside stuff does work but again i don't think it's worth the two if you can get the same outcome with one and unpredictable so that's what i'm using on linval joseph i also have it on michael strahan who is he plays end in 335 wide and then if i run big nickel i put him at d tackle so both my d tackles they're pretty good against the run all right so those are the offensive abilities and those are the defensive abilities that I use outside of what I believe is the best ability in Madden 22. And I'm gonna tell you why it's the best. So right now in the game, the meta is bunch and it's a pass heavy game. And on top of all that, defensively, it is the zones aren't that great. Players are out of position a lot of the times, but this ability gives you the best chance at having your defenders make plays and you're gonna see here um ed reed he's the best defensive player by far by the way ed reed acrobat 2 ap acrobat is back once again it was good last year this year i feel like you absolutely need it their zones are you know as bad as they've ever been and they take themselves and put themselves in bad positions a lot of the times but with Acrobat, they're making so many plays, diving, picking the ball off on crazy dives, and just getting to balls that they would not get to if, they, if it wasn't for this ability. This ability needs to be on as many DBs as you can have it on. I Again, I have it on five right now. So five times two, that's 10. You have 12 ability points. The other two go towards the unpredictable. Like I said, it costs one. But yes, Acrobat is amazing. I run it on my outside corners, a slot corner, one of my safeties, and then I run it on my user. So try to try to put it on as many players as possible. Uh, Cam Chancellor here, as you guys can see, this is one of the guys I've been using. He's not maxed to where some people have him, but him being 6'3 with Acrobat, he has got to a lot of passes that I thought I wouldn't have ever imagined getting to in Madden 22 due to the user being nerfed and the user not being as op as it has been in the past as far as like jumping passing lanes but acrobat is the best way to go um I, I can't stress that enough i need you guys out there if you're playing madden 22 stack the acrobats on your defensive side of the ball um they're gonna give you guys the best chance of getting your zones to react and playing the ball to the best of their ability all right so uh that's where i'm at as far as right now in the meta goes i do want to say one more thing um, as you guys can see, this is how my, my ability points are spread on defense. I am interested to see how the game moves forward as far as um, ability points go. Um, um, I'm not seeing a lot of fumbles early on. So what I'm thinking is strip specialist is something I want to try heavily coming up and then enforcer and see how those impact the fumble side of the ball. Like if, if we're fumbling side of things, if we're causing more fumbles with enforcer and strip specialists, you may see a little swing in, in how we're breaking down these points. So um, it's one of the things that I'm curious on and, and wondering how the game is going to play when we start seeing more of these out there as far as Enforcer. And then you guys can see here Strip Specialist. Uh, it's one AP. It says reduce tackle penalty while trying to strip the ball. Um, again, I haven't seen a lot of strip animations this year. But maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. I'm going to test it this week and see what's going on. Enforcer, you get at 90 hit power. As you can see here, it says guaranteed tackle after hit sticking. So it doesn't say anything about causing more fumbles. But again, these abilities, oftentimes, you never know. They, they do things that they're not intended to do. So we'll try it. We'll test it. I'll let you guys know. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Hit the like if you are. Make sure you sub. Turn your notifications on. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.